Hey guys, Jin here, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. We have awoken after everything went kaboom in the last episode. It was great. Um, we're, we're stuck in a time loop, basically. We reset upon death, and we are trying to figure out how to prevent that, plus find our fellow astronauts and explore the mysteries of this planet, and there's a whole lot of stuff we're doing. So without further ado, let us launch our ship, because we got a limited amount of time here. I am searching for... Oh shoot, wait, blast off, I forgot the controls. Hold on, oh geez. Um, I'm searching for the crater with the crashed thingy in it. Um, let's just get up a little bit. match our velocity and then Whoa. oh higher 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 man I'm still not quite used to the controls on this bad boy is that in here oh my gosh oh my gosh I don't know where that was oh geez um Match velocity. Back up a little bit. Match it. Back up a little bit. Match it. And now we rotate. This is a perfect, flawless strategy. <laughs> uh, well, welcome back to space. Um, ooh, what's up here on the top? I haven't really explored like our own planet very much yet. Kind of actually interested in this. Um, can I land here successfully? Bonk. Cool. That works better than expected. Bonk. Oh, well. I was expecting I was be able to get up here. I didn't realize how large that was. Um, let's grab ourselves our suit. Why don't we? And then we can uh, jetpack ourselves up. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to go down here. Oh, my gosh. No. Ow. Oh, well, I think we died. <laughs> Welcome back to the game. That was a very successful run. Oh, my gosh. Let's do this properly this time. <laughs> We're warming back up, getting back into the game. Jeez Louise. Okay, so my new plan is to use the signal scope to actually detect the harmonica. So if you missed the last episode and you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, there was a crashed bramble asteroid thing in... Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. Hold on. Um, Whoa, okay. Um, there was a crash, like, bramble asteroid thing on our planet, and it had a harmonica sound coming from it, which is very interesting. Because harmonica is this instrument of one of our good friends, who used to live here before he... Oh, jeez. Um, match velocity my signal scope oh no my signal scope oh my gosh what happened to matching velocity excuse me can i go up please i am trying okay is it this hole it's 200 meters that way oh ow am i so bad at flying this i really like the way that like the, the plane moves or the ship whatever but it's very, very hard to control. Okay. Er, 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 match velocity. Cool. Okay. Where is this exactly? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go up. Up, please. Rotate myself. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Great. Ex 
exactly what I was trying to do. Is that it down there? That's it down there. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to get out of my thing. I meant to rotate myself. Mm. A little bit of a hard landing, but it's fine. Ow. Okay. Okay, so let's see if I can do this from up here. So if I can shoot my signal scope into it, where is it at? It's, I'm going to have to go to the other side. Okay. So basically my plan here is to follow the signal. When I shot it in here last episode, it gave me two different signals with the same harmonica. So I'm thinking if I'm able to shoot it from up here, then I will be able to track the signal better. I don't... I think I gotta get all the way to the other side. Which is a bit unfortunate. Zip. All the way around. But I don't want to get too far away, otherwise I'm not going to be able to make the shot. What if I just shoot it? What happens? What, what was that? The, this. It just gives me my ship and my scout. Yeah, it's not giving me two like it did before. So, let me bring this back here. I don't. I might have to go all the way down there, which is going to cut into my time. Oops. Retrieve that, please. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm going to go down. Slow down, slow down. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I have to shoot that inside. Duplicate signal, there we go. Now the duplicate signal is 17 kilometers that way. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. Now, that's fine. I can just successfully get myself onto this. No, 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 no. Why does this have to be so complicated? Uh, okay, cool. Um, I can actually rotate the camera and take more pictures. But, okay, so we're out. 23, 24 kilometers. Is that even on our planet? I can't tell. But if I leave this equipped and I go back to my ship, Will this stay equipped? No, oh, let's load it. I'm gonna die from crashing into this. Okay, now if I get on here, will this stay? It won't. Okay, there we go. Duplicate signal. Perfect. From Dark Bramble. So is it like a portal to Dark Bramble? What? Really? Interesting. Okay, well, we're going over there. Let's not crash into the sun that's about to go supernova, preferably. Let us make our way all the way over there. Engage autopilot. Cool. Now we're just going to fly our way over there. Accelerating towards destination. So it's like a portal to the Dark Bramble planet. Firing retro rockets. Slow ourselves down. Perfect. Thank you, autopilot. Thank you very much. Here, look at this planet. This is the first time going to a planet besides the moon. I'm kind of taking a big leap here. This is a little bit of a scary first planet. One that's been like completely destroyed. Hey, a Bramble? It's coming from the center of it. Am I going to be able to land on this? I have a feeling I'm not. Oh. 800 meters in. Can I fly all the way in? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is trippy. 
So the dark bramble is the little seed has this whole thing inside of it. Oh, I'm. Whoa! Frick! Oh my gosh! Nope! <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to get jump scared. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there is that creature inside there. Okay, so that's concerning. That's the, the anglerfish monster thing. Huh. Jeez Louise, what a time. Okay. Well, all right, well, I think we might have to hold off on that mystery for a little bit. <laughs> That's quite the complicated discovery. Oh my gosh, I got so jump scared. Um, let's look it back at our ship logs. I wonder if that added anything. Yeah, 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 it sure did. My seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Ah, see. Uh, Tech Tight wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up a harmonica music when I aim it at the seed. I launch my little scout inside the seed much bigger on the inside. When I launch my scout in the seed that it crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. So that's all I've got. So I think the path that we want to pursue right now is this one. The Nomai device that created a pinpoint looking for the eye of the universe. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something on the South Pole. They decided to build a larger locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. So, we, this is where we want to go, is the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. Alright, so that is our plan. Let's boot up. Let's sit down. Let's take it off. All right. Let us leave this planet behind. Find Brittle Hollow and align ourselves and accelerate. Man, the autopilot handles this so seamlessly. Like I wish I was like this good at piloting. Oh my gosh. We just zoom over there, wow. I mean, I understand conceptually how this is supposed to work, but it's I'm not good at it. Let's equip my signal scope. Oh yeah, we can hear the banjo. All right, so let's go there. Let's land down next to him. Let's get in here. I don't wanna land on whatever's going on here, so we'll go a little off side here match velocity rotate myself and oh, perfect landing that was my best landing yet all right we got our suit on and let's go oh this is a very a windy windy planet unidentified signal nearby Ooh. Oh. Well, that's not what I was hearing. Thought I was hearing the banjo. Apparently not. So I have a new frequency. Outer Wild Ventures, I thought was here. Is he not here? The banjo wasn't even on this planet. Oh my gosh. Is this the South Pole? I, uh, let's switch back to the unidentified frequency. Is this the thing that they were creating? Ooh. Whoa. It's an escape pod distress beacon. Escape pod one. Interesting. 
Whoa. Okay, that is a kind of annoying noise. <gasps> Let's put this away. It still makes it. Interesting. So it's a... It's a Nomai thing. Is everyone unharmed? Um, no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's distress signals. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... That's the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. Believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. Huh. So, the moon on this planet is not good, but look at this. So they got a, a crash like, ship here, or is this their platform that they built? Oh, let's go inside. Ow. Whoa, look at this thing. This is crazy. Whoa, wow. Ooh, more writing. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. It's launching Escape Pod 3, launching Escape Pod 2, now launching Escape Pod 1. Escape Pod 1 vessel has been mortally injured, emergency sequence activated, Ranging, awaiting departure from vessel. Whoa. What is happening? Oh, is that the volcanic moon? Apparently it just launches bad things. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh my gosh. That is just a ball of molten lava that has volcanoes on it. Well, yeah, that is very unwelcoming. I see. Collision imminent. There's no one down here. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Hospitable. Huh. All right. Let's head down again. Three. Oh my gosh, I launched the door off. Oh, like, wait, whoa, 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 Oh, frick. It's a black hole. The planet has a black hole in the center, and I am being sucked into it. Um. What is happening to me? Um. Well, yeah, this doesn't exactly seem pleasant. Can I get out of here? Oh my gosh. What the heck? It's like a wormhole. Oh my gosh, excuse me? Can we match its velocity, please? I'm at 50% fuel remaining. I just got sucked into a black hole and popped out very far away from my ship. Where the heck am I? I don't know. Whoa. Okay, is this some, like, Nomaya base of some kind? I gotta be careful, I'm gonna run out of fuel. Can I get inside here? Whoa. Oh, shoot, what is this? Oh! Refilled my oxygen. Whoa. That was rather spinny. There's things. Oh my gosh. I'm in. Whoa. Ember twin projection stone. Huh? Uh, 
this is cool. What is all this? I don't exactly know. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put this. Let's translate this. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Man, these guys are technologically advanced, all right. They can make a white hole station? Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. The tower tower's warp can only be used during a brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment. So if I stand here and the planet lines up, then I get teleported back. Okay, but what is this? And what is the projection stone? Where do I put this? gotta be a place for this weird oh so this is telling me it's rotating and then it's gonna line up oh whoa whoa what is this one am i gonna fall it's glass okay what does this do oh we're rotating very much rotating. Okay. Beam me up. I can't be beamed up while it's rotating. Okay. Well, let's stop that then. Does this stop it? If I just put me on a perpetual loop? No escape? Oh, one is these one of these is an up and one is a down. I see. Okay, so now I'm rotating. Oh, I got it. I got it. So should I take this with me? Or should I leave this here? The Ember Twin Projection Stone. I'm gonna take it with me. Let's line myself up. If I just wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fingers crossed this works. <laughs> wow. And just like that, I'm... Oh, frick, I went back through it. Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, I want to take this with me. There's a lot of, like, broken things here. Okay, this is fascinating. This is some wacky technology, man. I didn't think I'd be able to go through black holes and make it out alive. Alright, coming up on the planet. And warp. Whoa, that is trippy. Okay, let's get off this thing before I warp again. Where am I now? I'm on the complete opposite side of the planet. Ooh, what is this? More text. Return warp station charge. Step on the warp receiver to activate return warp. Departure time and arrival time. Hmm. Alrighty. Wow, he's out. This, like, was a base at one point. Ah. Oh, am I dead? Oh my gosh. Help. I've, if I crashed the game, I ran into a wall too hard. Oh no. Oh, no, no, I'm going to get sucked down in here. What is this? The Hanging City. Oh, shoot. Is the moon raining things down again? And I have some bramble. Oh, and I have lag. Apparently the moon shooting volcanic everything is not making my computer happy. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked, we've successfully recreated warp travel. Huh. I don't know how close it is to 
And then as a original design, as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet there, we can run a full diagnostics and locate the problem. Don't tell Cassava. Interesting. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see Warp Tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. So, this is technology that they, like, used to have and then something happened to them and their their ship got messed up and they crash landed on all these planets and they're recreating all their technology oh wait wait no 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 i saw it i saw it ah oh hide oh shoot lag apparently this planet's a bit on the laggy side might have to turn down the graphics for Ah, oh, shoot, I'm out of fuel. Does this go here? Oh, it does. Oh, I did something. I'm lagging my game extremely bad. Hold on. Oh, no, it's too much. It's too much for me to handle. Oh, gosh. Um, hold on. Let's do that, unfortunately. Is that saved? I don't know. Did it? We'll find out. Um, yes, it did. Okay. Resume, please. Whoa. Well, they're spinning. Oh, created text. Rami and I reviews the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show no my or. The Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing the White Hole Station. Oh, I would have read that if I actually paid attention to the arrival dates and stuff. It's exceedingly odd, but Claire and I have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Quote, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke, the High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. I would... I mean, I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to consider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so, too. So, time travel. Oh. Can I take this one and put it? Oh, my gosh. So scary. Can I put that one here? Whoa, what is happening? What did I just do? What did I just do? What happened? Oh my gosh. Man, my game is struggling with this. What is going on? Um. What? Is this like a vision of some kind? Whoa. Oh, hello. Um. Is certainly something. That's a good picture. Um, can I do that again? Whoa, what the? Oh, if I step out of this square, it goes back. Okay. So as long as I stay here. Weird. What am I witnessing? I'm like right next to the sun. So is this, this is Ember Twin projection stone. So I'm projecting myself 
into the the equator of the ember throne. So I'm just like viewing. Weird. My computer does not like that very much. Oh my gosh. Help. That's so trippy. I'm scared to like, I'm gonna put this here. I'm scared to just like leave it on the ground somewhere. Okay, well I probably don't have much time left until the world explodes. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to make it back to my ship. I'm gonna just keep exploring this area until I run out of things to explore. I haven't gone down yet. Oop, I fell in a hole. Oh no. Did not mean to fall in a hole. I want to go down this hole too. Now it pushes me up. So I can get pushed up, but the down one is broken. Dang it. And that's the teleporter. Oh, refill my jetpack. Well, that's nice. Felt bar spare jetpack. It's annoying to shelf across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Horned Felg and Burnt Marshmallow, and the Scots Integrity reading said this piece of Fertile Hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If you're still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, whenever you're reading this, no, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh my gosh, game, please. Oh no, don't crash on me. Oh no! Oh, why? I know the world's about to end, and it's a lot for my computer to handle, but come on. Well, let's see how much progress we lost. This is very sad. Uh, apparently I'm going to have to turn the graphics all the way down. Apparently the world ending is too much for my PC to handle when I'm on crazy complicated planets. Um, what was I doing? This. So, how much did it remember? The shelter site, the white hole station, the north glacier, the high energy lab. Okay, so I got some pieces. It saved some stuff. That's good. Uh, so this is all the information about the the warp tower, which is kind of mind-blowing technology. We've got, there's more to explore here on the white hole. Uh, oh. Yeah. The Northern Glacier. I wasn't done yet. Negative time intervals will be further explored. We've got Escape Pod 1. Everything was escaped. Uh, one of the three escape pods that crashed into our solar system. All three escape pods were launched into what we called the vessel, which was badly damaged. And my survivors who crashed on Brittle Hollow climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface, which I didn't get to explore because I fell in a freaking black hole. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Well, I think that's about a good place to, to wrap things up then. Um, we, we crashed instead of the world exploding. Same thing, right? Basically the same thing. It looks like it saved enough of my progress, which is good. Um, we're going to continue exploring. I think we're going to actually go... Oop, well, that didn't work. Um... <laughs> We're going to actually explore the South Pole in the next episode, which was the plan originally. And we got a little distracted by black holes and things. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Outer Wilds. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's a really interesting mystery. I'm excited to just fly around in space and explore stuff. This game's really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate the support on the new series. It's always fun to jump into a new game. And yeah, I hope to see you guys again soon for another episode. Later! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Perfect landing. Beautiful.